Today's project is going to involve a few cleaning experiments. I have a few barrels here that were originally used to ship olives from the Middle East over to the States. And we have a local packing house where they take and relocate the, repackage the olives from these big barrels into the jars you buy in the store. So you can get these barrels, pick them up pretty cheaply from the uh, packing house. So I have a couple of them and they're really great for rain barrels or for a lot of like local hobby farmers who will use them for feed storage, chicken feed or cattle feed, keep some ice out of them. So the projects that I wanna use them for, I need to get them as clean as possible and I wanna get uh, all the oil residue out of them and they smell a little bit like olives. So I wanna try a couple different things to see if I can get them clean. Uh, one of the first things I wanna try is an ozone generator. I have some other videos on the channel here uh, talking about different ways and different applications you can use these ozone generators in. So I wanna see if that'll do the trick. And then I'm also gonna try a uh, pump up sprayer with a mixture of bleach and Dawn. The Dawn will help cut some of that oil and then the bleach hopefully will take some of the smell away. So let's get started and see what, uh, which one of these two options will work the best. To clarify, these barrels have already been washed once with water and Dawn, and that's gotten most of the oil out of the barrels. What we're really trying to focus on now is the smell. There's just a lingering, heavy olive smell that we just don't want in there. So the purpose of today's video and today's efforts are really just to get rid of that smell. I'm going to set it for, I'm going to say three hours, 180 minutes. So let's go over and uh, get our bleach mixture stirred up and see what we can do to get that other barrel cleaned out in a different way. This is just a little one gallon pump up sprayer. And I already have some bleach mixed up from the last time I used this. And I just, the mix I like to use for a lot of things is half and half bleach and water, which dilutes it down to about 3% concentration. Most Clorox brand uh, bleach, chlorine, Clorox, it's pretty much all the same stuff comes in at about six or seven percent so cut it half and half you get down to three percent concentration so i'm just gonna give it a good heavy squirt of dawn and that's really going to help cut down on some of the oils that's going to cut through the, the the olive oil that's in there and uh, take care of that so i'm going to give this a little shake now if you use this mixture make sure and get the regular dawn there's a dawn ultra that I believe has um, alcohol in it. And when the alcohol mixes with the bleach, it makes some bad gases. You don't want that. Just mixed up, we can go ahead and pump our pressure up. I probably don't even have a quart. Maybe a quart, maybe a pint or so somewhere in there. It's really not gonna take much. If you don't have a pump up sprayer, you could just as easily use a, a small bucket and a brush and just uh, mix it up and then I'll sop it on there that way. So let me just get in here and coat everything really well. We'll just let this sit on here for, I don't know, five or 10 minutes. You don't want to let it dry. I might rinse this outside off, but the inside, we'll, we'll let it in there. It's not really in direct sunlight, so it's not too hot in there, so it shouldn't dry too quickly, but we'll just make sure it's wetted down, and come back in a couple minutes, and uh, then rinse everything out. everything another swishing around make sure all the surfaces are coated still a little bit of liquid slosh around there and then we can just rinse it out I'm just gonna stand it up and try to rinse down the walls to start with
I'd say initially the walls feel oil free. So let's I'm gonna dump this water out in the stones here. There's still a little bit of an olive smell in there. However, the walls feel really clean. Can you see anything in there? Yeah. Well, all you can see is plastic. So it's been three hours, a little bit over three hours, and our, our ozone generator shut off just like it should. That's good. Let's see what we have. Smells like uh, ozone and olives. Big surprise, huh? But let me grab a box fan and just uh, get this aired out some. We'll give this about uh, 20 minutes, 20 or 30 minutes, trying to blow some fresh air in there. Now I just had the idea, well, that other one's airing out. Why don't we give this one the ozone treatment since all the all the oil and all the residue has been cleaned out of here. I'm going to label this one. This one was uh, Dawn and Bleach and then Ozone 1, 2. Alright, so let's plug this in right here. I don't know if we'll let it run three hours like we did the other one, but I'll set it for three hours and come back and check it at some point. The board's not any extra long there. There we go. Point that over here. So it's not likely to draft in the shop as much. So uh, like I said, this is all just kind of playing around. I'm not sure exactly what will work. It could be that the oil is in some way kind of impregnated into the plastic and there's just no way to get it out. So, um, I don't know, we'll find out. Pardon the cicadas, they're getting kind of noisy. So, three hours with the ozone, 20 minutes with the box fan, and it smells like olives. So let's uh, leave the other one, the other barrel uh, hanging with the ozone for a couple hours and see what that does. So here it is, almost dark. This is the one that we did the Dawn and Bleach combo and then ran ozone in it. Had the ozone for about an hour. So, just gonna air it out quickly with the air compressor. Just drain the tank dry and then see what it smells like. I'll give it the old sniff test. And this too smells like ozone and olives. Well, if you ever find yourself with a barrel that had olives in it and you want it to not smell like olives, I suggest you throw away the barrel and find a barrel that's never had olives. Ozone doesn't work. Bleach doesn't work. Clorox doesn't work. I'm not really sure what else would work other than burning it, but that wouldn't work either, so. Um, that was a lot of work for really not much of a result, so. If you enjoy uh, videos that are usually more informative than this one, then uh, hit subscribe, tap the bell. So with that, I'll have to say we'll see you on the next video.